Okay, what I'm doing this now is actually non-hamster nor guinea pig related. It's actually related to horses and grooming kits and things like that. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how I clean my horse's brushes and how it's like really, really good. It's quite sanitary and things. So all that you need are your dirty brushes, which I have plenty of them here. A bucket of warm water that, you know, not cold, not hot. And some lavender oil. Now, lavender oil is incredibly, you know, it's a really good antiseptic, quite like tea tree oil. Um, you have to make sure it's always diluted. You don't put lavender oil directly, like, on your skin. It'll dry out your skin and cause a rash, but it's not going to do you any harm, or the brushes, or your horse. You just make sure the brushes are dry. And the bonus is, it takes off all the dirt, it just kind of lifts it off the brushes. And then, once it's completely clean, then your brushes smell nicely of lavender. So, the other thing is, <laughs> before you comment on my brushes being gross, they've actually been sitting in my garage for six months since I put my horse on loan. So, yeah, I've been putting this off for long enough. So I'm not actually going to clean all my brushes because I'm going to throw some of them away and just keep the ones that I'll need again in the future when I get a new horse. So, yeah, if, you're, um, if your brushes are really, really gross and you clean them and they don't look any better, I recommend just throwing them away. Grooming kits, they're not expensive. You maybe don't want to go out and shell on brushes, but they're really not that expensive. So anyway, I've got my lavender oil here that you can get from any homeopathic store, and now you can get them in any like store like Boots, Super Drug, any kind of drugstore. So what I put in is about 10 to 20 drops. I'm actually going to put in a little bit more because um, these brushes are actually going to be stored away once they're clean. So, as you can see, there's kind of an oily film on the lid. Now, what you want to do is choose the brushes you're going to keep. So, let's have a look in this really disgusting grooming box. So, I'll probably keep this uh, rubber mitt because these are really good when your horse is casting. So, we'll put that in. And what else will we keep from in here? I don't think we'll keep that. Maybe this little hoof brush. In there. Um, this one as well, rubber curry comb. Put that in. And this is a really good good makeup body brush, so I'm gonna put that in as well. What else do we have? Anything else worth salvaging in there? I don't think so. Just have a look in this one. Here's another rubber mitt. Put that one in. And anything else? I think most of that should just be thrown away. I've also got a show grooming kit in the house with all these good brushes that I take out to competitions, but they're, they were cleaned after every competition, so they're fine. So, yeah, that's basically all you do. And then these aren't finished, but once they're finished, you take it out. You don't need to rinse them off or anything. You might just want to, you know, try and get all the hay and hair out of it and things. Make sure it's clean. You'll see there's a lot of dirt and things already along the top. The lavender's good. So your brushes are being cleaned and um, sterilised basically. So once they're finished, just let them dry out in the sun or somewhere warm and they're basically as good as new. So I hope that was helpful and if you want any more kind of horse related videos, not to do with actual horses because my horse is on loan, but if you want to know any more things about um, grooming kits and I don't know what various things are for for a horse then, feel free to comment below.